Gaza is becoming a graveyard for children. Ground operations by the Israel Defense Forces and continued bombardment are hitting civilians, hospitals, refugee camps, mosques, church, and UN facilities, including shelters. No one is safe. At the same time, Hamas and other militants use civilians as human shields and continue to launch rockets indiscriminately towards Israel. The protection of civilians must be paramount. I'm deeply concerned about clear violations of international humanitarian law that we are witnessing. Let me be clear. No party to an armed conflict is above international humanitarian law. I salute all those who continue their life-saving work despite the overwhelming challenges and risks. And the unfolding catastrophe makes the need for a humanitarian ceasefire more urgent with every passing hour. Today, the United Nations and our partners are launching a 1.2 billion US dollars humanitarian appeal to help 2.7 million people. That's the entire population of the Gaza Strip and of a million Palestinians in the West Bank including East Jerusalem. Some life-saving aid is getting into Gaza from Egypt through the Rafa crossing. But the trickle of assistance does not meet the ocean of need. And let's be clear, the Rafa crossing alone does not have the capacity to process eight trucks at the scale required. 